Hello everyone and welcome back to the laboratory of our create a pet random pet genetics challenge and I hope you guys are ready for some kittens because after last time and the birth of a uh, the very wholesome precious 009 on our doggy side of the experiments it is time to give Napoleon our wonderful new feline with the very very blue whiskers a little bit of attention and so he is going to be a getting a mate today and we are going to see how the first of our feline side of experiments shall become totally amazing random kittens i am so nervous what if we end up with a bunch of polka dots but who knows we could end up with the most wholesome beautiful handsome like wonderfully hearted creature like precious so ha huh, it's just completely up in the air i love that about the random generators all right so my random generator has been rolled we have tons of numbers lined up to help us out so let's get started by adding in a new cat so that Napoleon can have a mate of his very own. And we are adding in the new cats now by doing the breed mixers so that we can really get a lot of wide variation just to straight up start off with with the animals. Oh, there's that a little tail. Oh, that looks like a little, look at that little spotty diamond tail. It kind of reminds me a little bit of a diamond rattlesnake, actually. That's quite an interesting tail to have, good sir. But let's go ahead and get started with randomizing Napoleon. Napoleon's mate and picking the third cat that we end up with. I'm already giggling because I'm so nervous. There's such a huge variety of animals. What if we end up with a raccoon? What if Napoleon's mate ends up being like a blue neon raccoon? That is within the realm of possibility inside of this create a pet challenge, you know. So one, not a raccoon. Two, not a raccoon, but it looks like a cross between a sphinx and a a ocelot, which is quite interesting. And then three, also not a raccoon, but totally precious. Hello, lovely. So we have a glutton who is a free spirit and curious. We are going to randomize six times to pick the name. One, two, three, four, five, six, Kelly. So Kelly, who is going to be C002 of our random genetics experiments. And let's go ahead and start randomizing her features. So we are going to start off with the head and we are going to randomize her head six times to get just a good feel of uh, how varied the feline genetics could be. I feel like we may not end up with quite as dramatic of, of experimental results as we do when we play with the dog genetics because the dogs can have such dramatically different muzzles. They can have dramatically different body sizes and shapes. And a lot of the felines tend to keep kind of the same shapes and features, but I'm hoping to be pleasantly surprised. So let's go ahead and roll six times. One, two, three, four, five. And Kelly's final features are going to be six. Okay, normal, normal. I'm trying to bring some of that wholesome cat family personality and genetics into the family tree. I can approve. I can approve. All right. Are the ears going to be up or down? We're going to find out after 10 rolls. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. I thought that was hilarious because not once was this cat going to let her ears go down. She's got a very firm personality on that. Has to keep those ears up so that she can hear things better. All right. So let's move on to her nose four little noses we get to look at. Also, do you guys love, th this is not a roll, just I absolutely love that adorable little heart-shaped nose that you can pick from. Isn't it just the cutest thing? It makes me just want to boop all the little kittens right on the nose. It's just adorable. All right, so four times. One, two, three, four. All right, very nice, very nice nose. She's still keeping it pretty up, uh, up on the wholesome side of things. Let's check out her whiskers. Are they going to be blue as well? We'll find out after six rolls. One. And six. <laughs> Kelly! Kelly! We almost had like a normal looking cat and then you were like, well, I really want to contribute some rainbows. So she added in the rainbows. That is awesome. All right. Well, let's see if we get some rainbow mishmash eyes as well. Seven eyeballs we get to look at or I suppose 14 altogether, but you get it. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then seven. 
All right, nice, beautiful gray eyes. All the better to contrast with the uh, rainbow whiskers there. All right, thank you very much, Kelly. Now it is time to go ahead and find out, I believe we already did, did we do her body? No, we just jumped straight into everything. So now we are going to roll twice to see what her body shape is going to be. One, two, okay, pretty similar. And then we're going to roll seven times for the game of heads or like tail or no tail. It's kind of like flipping the penny, except now it's like, will the cat have a tail? Actually, that sounds kind of spooky. Oh my gosh, I don't want to play that game. One, two, three, four. Kelly's like, I'm having a tail. Five, six, seven. Okay, I clicked it. You saw me click it and Kelly was not going to lose her tail. So she insisted on keeping that tail. That was pretty funny. All right, and then actually we only get to roll once on the coat pattern for the overall patterning. So will Kelly still end up looking like a raccoon? This will be the final roll to determine it. No, but she did keep some interesting stripes, which is quite nice. I really like it. All right, and she does have four pattern sets to be able to pick from. The first of which I think is the base coat for around the face and the ears. And we're actually going to roll four times there. And then four, purple. Kelly, why didn't I suspect? Why didn't I suspect that you wanted to go the distance? Forget all of this nonsense of, or forget, do you get it? Oh dear, oh dear. But forget all of this nonsense of looking like a normal cat. If you can play with these kinds of jeans, then why not? I understand, I understand. All right, so we're gonna hit eight times for the next one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> You could have been purple all over, Kelly. That was a choice. You had the option. All right, 10 times for the stripes. Oh, actually, that's not stripes. That's uh, eight, nine, 10. Okay, that's, wow, she wants to be a tiger. Kelly wants to be a tiger. Okay, she wants to be a tiger who also has been eating the same paint or berries or whatever it is that the doggo from last time ate too. And then let's see, we need to have 10 rolls for the stripes which gives us plenty of opportunity. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. She really wanted to stand out. Okay, 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 I can take a hint. And now we will once for the fur. All right, she wanted nice, long, fluffy fur. You know, grows on you after a while, I guess. Grows on you after a while. Uh, and that's actually everything for Kelly. So let's let her go ahead. Stand on up, Kelly. Look at that beautiful belly. Show it all off. You had dreams. You reached for them. I I can only approve of, of what you've gone and done. I mean, you kind of remind me of Twilight Wolf Link for some reason. So, hmm. All right. Well, Kelly is good. She is ready to go, and she is ready to have a kitten. So are you guys ready to see what the results, and again, I feel like they're not quite as dramatic as the doggo results, and man, the doggo results can be quite dramatic, and then Precious just pulls in some recessive genes to kind of reset the chaotic polka dots that we had going on a little bit ago. But I, I mean, I guess I, I I, who am I to say like, you know guys, the cat genetics don't feel like they're quite as dramatic as uh, the dog genetics when the dog looks normal and the cats look like they have, <laughs> they have like geared up for war or something. What is this? Oh my gosh. All right, let's go ahead and have some kittens. We're gonna play with genetics. We're gonna dive in with Kel Kelly and Napoleon. <laughs> Kelly, you're gonna have some kittens that look like you, aren't you? You're gonna make this happen. And we actually get to look at seven of their daughters. So one, oh, there's the first daughter. Ooh, and she has Napoleon's eyes. Let's see what she looks like as an adult. Nice, Kelly's long fur, I can approve. Two. Oh, look at you. So it looks like Kelly's stripes are really, really strong. Three, four, five. There's no combination that's going to look normal, is there? Six, seven. All right, there we go. Very interesting indeed. So we have ended up with a really fascinating mix of Kelly and Napoleon. And this daughter actually decided to have little pointy ears like Kelly, Napoleon's patterning, one of Napoleon's eyes, one of Kelly's eyes, quite interesting there. Napoleon's little nose and uh, Kelly's rainbow whiskers. But unlike both of her parents, this cat decided to make her whiskers short, which is quite interesting. And I think she has Napoleon Napoleon's body shape with that slimmer chin, but she has Kelly's fur. So that's quite interesting. There we go. All right. 
So this is actually C003. And we're going to go ahead and randomize twice to pick her name. One, two, her pumpkin. <laughs> Well, I was saying that her dad kind of reminded me of a pumpkin because of the back of his ears last time. That's true. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and we will actually pick her traits. So the sixth trait, free spirit. The eighth trait after that. So that is going to be skittish. A skittish free spirit. And then the tenth trait after that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Frisky. Man, she's all over the place. She's a skittish free spirit who is also uh, quite frisky. So pretty much... Pretty much a hyperactive cat, if you ask me, who apparently blinks one eyeball at a time. Oh, and I love it when you can see her fur move back and forth. That's pretty cool. All right, well, that was really fun. I really like seeing what uh, Pumpkin has ended up resulting in. And then we're actually going to be whipping up a mate for Precious. I think we might be able to actually have time to do that because we've kind of streamlined some of our pet genetics. So Precious, hang in there. <gasps> You're so cute, hello. Hi there. We're gonna get a mate for Precious really quickly. Let me refresh my little random generators to make sure we have only the best numbers to, pick, like, to choose from. Uh, there we go. I'll take off your little pet genetic. There we go. Hang on. Hang on. Hey, come here. All right. Come here. There you go. Breed mixer. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So we are going to go through seven times. Two, three. Oh, that was a pretty dog. Uh, I did hit it again. Four, five, six, seven. <laughs> All right, and this little guy is actually going to be uh, this little guy is actually going to be Precious's mate. We're gonna pick the name one, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. This is Mr. Wiggles. So Precious and Mr. Wiggles 0010 on our experiment, or I should say uh, 10, 0, 1, 0 on our experiments are going to have a puppy today, you guys. So let's get Mr. Wiggles ready to meet Precious in the laboratory. We're gonna go ahead and we are going to randomize his features first uh, as we should. And so we're gonna pick the third head shape on him. And as you guys can see, I'm really feeling that the dog genetics are so dramatic that they can make quite interesting scenes. But I know you guys really wanted to see what the cats look like. I think the answer is rainbow colored kitty cats. So let's carry on with the doggos because I feel like the dogs really have more to be shocked by. More to just make you fall right out of your chair in laughter. So Mr. Wiggles, show me what you got. One, oh my gosh, what? What? Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh Dear, <gasps> that could still be, that could still be his face. That could still be his face. Okay, we hit two. You got one more roll, Mr. Wiggles. You had your chance, Mr. Wiggles. I gave it to you fairly with random generators, just like everybody else gets. And this is the choice you've made with life. And that's fine. <laughs> All right, we get to pick his fifth ear. One, two, <laughs> three. Four, five. Okay, that's fine. You can be a little bat. You're your little vampire bat. You can do that if you want. All right, and the tenth nose. One, two, three, four, five. You can't really mess the nose up, I don't think. Not at this point. We've gone too far. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go. He does want to be an angry little bat boy. That's just fine. Mr. Wiggles the bat boy. That's who you are. All right, let's see how the eyes can go. These, again, could go very dramatic. We are going to be picking the sixth eyeball set. One, two, three, four. Oh my goodness. Five, six. Okay. Okay, Mr. Wiggles. You got, you got some looks going on there and I totally, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What are their babies going to look like? We have to find out. Okay. And actually it is a six again. So one, two, three, four, five. Would it be another beefy boy? Six. Uh, yeah, pretty, pretty, a uh, little bit of a fuzz bucket going on there. All right, let's see what the tail is going to be on Mr. Wiggles. Seventh tail. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, he really wants that twirly tail. It's come up several times. And seven. Oh, he has a little twirly tail that's going to sit on his back. Oh, Mr. Wiggles, look at you go. All right, let's look at his final pattern form with the fifth pattern that we come across. One, two, three, four, five. 
you know, actually, he's beginning to grow on me, guys. I didn't expect that, but I, I really am beginning to love Mr. Wiggles. And again, I think we might do more dog than cat experiments. Uh, let me know what you guys think, because I feel like the dogs... The dogs really go all over the place. All right, so let's change up his colors. We are going to be picking the sixth color. One, two, three, four, five, six. Of course, it had to be pink. That's fine. That's fine. All right. We'll just, okay. That's fine. That's fine. All right, then we're going to move on to the ninth color. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Okay. Are you trying to be like, a, I feel like he's trying to audition for like a Pokemon or something. He's like, please rescue me from the lab. I want to, I want to go catch them all too. All right. The fifth color on this one. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, okay. And then finally, to determine the overall coat color, we are going to be rolling in a grand total of four times. One, two, three, four. I choose you, Mr. Wiggles. I choose you. Don't blink, Mr. Wiggles. I'm taking I'm taking your, your Pokedex entry right now, so just stay right there. All right, guys. Finally, we have to pick his fur. So, uh, let's see. That's actually another five. So, one, two, three. Oh, my gosh. Four, five. Okay, there you go, Mr. Wiggles. There you go. He's glorious. He's glorious. Please, don't run away scream screaming, precious. I promise it'll, it'll all be fine. It'll all be fine. All right, let's take some deep breaths. Oh, look at his little picture down there. He looks like he's screaming for mercy. I'm sorry, Mr. Wiggles. I'll set you free soon. I'll set you free soon. <laughs> okay. So now we need to look at their ninth child. And their ninth son shall be the one to inherit the title of Experiment one, uh, 011. The 11th Experiment. Mr. Wiggles, stop screaming, please. Please. Okay. One... Make them normal size. Two, three. Oh my gosh. Four, five, six, seven. Oh my gosh. Eight, nine, ten. And this is it, guys. The moment of truth. I actually see a lot of Dino in this one dog. So the next one is going to be it. 11. You know, you know, you know, it's not as bad as I thought it was. It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. So I would now like to welcome into the family experiment 011. He is quite the looker. We are going to be picking the second name for him, Grover. Welcome, Grover. I... I don't know if I, I, I don't know if I should apologize, but I'm glad to have you in the family. All right, guys. So there we go. I do like doing the cat experiments, but I don't feel like they give us quite as much drama as the dog experiments. So we may, we may let Pumpkin just kind of keep an eye on our doggos and kind of wait out having kits next time. Let me know what you guys think. Maybe, maybe another experiment will really help us kind of bring that to light. And um, we're going to set Mr. Wiggles free. I do feel like I do feel like he is one of the most extreme reactions that we have ever had, ever, with this random generator challenge for sure. So we will release him, we will set him free, and we will see where his son Grover will take the family tree next time. So I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.